Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, I'm Sim UK. This is Railway Empire 2, and the video I'm trying to make today is a video to show you all of the tips and the tricks that I've picked up in the 36 hours that I've been playing this game. When I first started, I was very thumbs and elbows, I was all over the place. I've learned a hell of a lot. I picked up a lot of tips. I've discovered quite a few bugs, which I'll try and tell you about in this. I got up at five o'clock this morning. I was in the shed by 20 to six, and um, I was starting to record this tutorial by six o'clock in the morning. So I've had four cracks at this, and I just, something about each one I didn't enjoy, I didn't like. So I've deleted the lot, and this is my, I swear to God, this is my last go. <laughs> so this has to be the best tutorial for Railway Empire 2 for beginners and hopefully more experienced players, whatever. I'm not pretending I'm like some super duper special person, player or something like that. Um, this is just everything that I have learned and I'm going to share with you and hopefully it'll help you get up to speed quicker than I did myself. So we're going to start with the custom game. First thing I want to do is just show you how big this game is. Look at this. Look at Europe. Man, this game has got enormous maps on it. Anyway, we are going to start with the East Coast. And we'll start at Buffalo, which is the same as the campaign. We'll start as the Professor, because that's the same as Chapter 1 campaign. And I won't touch anything. Okay, I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to give myself millions of dollars or anything like that. I'm going to start with exactly the same stuff that you do for the campaign. And I'll show you... Um, what I believe to be the best approach to this game. Now, I've, I've watched Anakin, I've watched a whole bunch of other YouTubers who play this game, who quote unquote are professionals. I mean, these guys are getting hundreds of thousands of views on their videos. It's quite surprising. But I've watched them and I'm, I'm, I'm not impressed. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. I just don't feel like they've quite hit the nail on the head. Pretty much like the last three recordings I did. Good that you're here. Your company was founded, and you have only one competitor in this reasonable region. I have full confidence in your abilities, and have already written down a few tasks for you. Right, so tasks are up here in the tasks list. Now, your tasks in the campaign will be totally different to mine, and I'm not even here trying to do tasks. Up here you can go three times speed, normal speed, and if you press the space bar you can pause the game. You can't do this in hard mode, I prefer to play in hard mode, but the campaign is set in easy mode, which means if you make a mistake you can sell a bit of track or a railway station or anything at all and you'll get the money back. So it's a lot, lot easier. Have I started at Buffalo? I have started at Buffalo, haven't I? It's Banner. Be right back. I'll be right back. Welcome, and good luck with your new business. You have a competitor in this region, and I have taken the liberty to create some tasks for you. Right, sorry about that. I meant to start in Boston, the same as you do in the campaign, just to make things as easy as possible. Right, so you have to start. You have a starting city. You have to build your first station here. And, um, right, so this is... Uh, I'm going to try and do everything, so I'll do a quick, real intro for beginners uh, and then we'll start stepping up and we'll uh, work into track, layout, uh, rail line design and um, warehouse management, etc, etc, etc. I'll try and cover everything I can. So, we are here at Boston. This is our starting location. Boston produces meat, as you can see here. Now, if we come up and click on the stock and demand of the city, you can see that the citizens are 20,000. Uh, consumption of wagons per week is 4.9, and their fulfillment of demand is 41.7. Fulfillment of demand means there are things that they desperately need, indicated here by demand per week. There are things like this, wool, that are dashed out. That means they don't need them. They're not relevant to this, this location at all. They, they have no desire for these goods but if they were to start making cloth for example if you built um, a second industry item in Boston so you'd have meat and cloth being made 
then there would be a desire to have wool because wool would be needed to make cloth. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself here, but that's how that works. So you can see that meat is currently being produced in Boston. That's what this indicates. There are issues with production. Basically, it looks like they haven't quite got enough goods. They have got access to Adam's fattening here. So they are getting cows sent to them via the road, as are Portland, who are also making meat. So we have two very close together uh, country, uh, cities both of whom are producing the same product, both of whom are about the same size, 20,000. Portland has 20,000 and it's getting 41.7. Boston is 20,000 getting 41.7. So they're basically the same. Now what this means is if we put a line between the two of them, they are not going to trade goods because Boston make me and Portland make meat, and this is the only thing that they can transport unless they have a warehouse. You don't have access to a warehouse at the beginning, you have to unlock it through research, and then you have to pay to install it, and then you have to configure it. So, just to recap, this is how much stock they have in the city, this is how much is currently on uh, being delivered by the train, this is how much their demand is per week, and here is an overview of the fulfillment that, um, that they are getting that resource. So they're not getting any grain, they're not getting any corn, and they're not getting any sugar. Now if you look at demand per week, you can see that cattle is their priority. So if we come up here and we have a train station, which we will in a minute, that has access to Adam's fattening and wood, they will take livestock first, until they have got as much livestock as they need and then they will start taking wood but only once they have got enough livestock to um, sustain them completely so um, as the fulfillment demand increases if it gets over 60 percent then the number of citizens in the city will grow and if, as we hit 35,000 citizens, they'll start demanding milk, and then vegetables, and then fruit, and then clothing, and then wooden planks, and then liquor, and so on and so on. And that happens for every single city. They're all the same in that regard. Now, if we click on passages and mail, you can see that Portland, which is where we're currently, um, sorry, we're at Boston at the moment. So people in Boston would like to go to Portland, they would like to go to New York, and they would like to go to Albany. There are other places they would like to go, but they are far less uh, urgent, let's say. So these are the three priorities, Portland, New York, and Albany, for the people in Boston. Now for the people in Portland, obviously it's Boston, Albany, and New York, but the only one that really matters is Boston. So let's begin by doing that. Let's get a line between Portland and Boston, and let's, let's make that um, a fast line. So, as we come up here and select, uh, where is it, train station, you hold the left shift, you can rotate the station, and you can see that there's one track visible, but if you place it within the green area where you can build, and we can't build here because we must start in Boston, but if you look at the area that we can build, you can see that there are eight tracks. So what you mustn't do is build too close to one of these red square buildings because you will not, no matter what you do, be able to build any further that way. So in this instance, if I wanted the train track there, I would of course have to rotate it this way so that I could expand the track out. In addition to that, if you press H, really easy to see the contour lines. So Boston to Portland, if you follow the contour lines, if we can stay on this contour line here as best we can, then um, we won't have any undulations in the track. Undulations in the track, if it's more than about three degrees, then it will really slow down the train. If they're going downhill, they'll have to have the brakes on. If they're going uphill, it's a struggle for them to haul stuff uphill, especially the early trains. Um, so these are all things you want to take into account at the beginning when you're building. Last thing I want to mention about uh, train stations is that the first track, the very first line, is kind of free. It comes with the track. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, let's drop one here. Okay. We're going to drop a second one over here at Portland. Best as we can, trying to keep it on the same... Keep it on the uh, same line there. So let's go right ahead and build a track. Now, it took me a while to figure this out, thanks to the, my community who basically, <laughs> from multiple angles, uh, bombarded me with this information. It's now stuck in my head forever. You can see that this bit of track here would cost me 4,686. That's because this platform is free. If I want to move this over to platform two, I'm going to have to build a second platform. That's 50 grand. I move it on to platform three, that's two platforms, that's 104 grand, and so on. 150, 204, two, sorry, 204, 254, 300, and 355. So it's 50,000 pounds or thereabouts per platform. So the less platforms you need, the better. But um, in reality, um, there's only so much you can do. Now, the track building is, I think, hugely improved on the earlier version. Um, if we look at this here, we can see that it's almost a completely flat uh, track there. If I take off the undulation, you can see there's a little bit of work that we've done here to build this up. Um, if I put that there and put a couple of markers in, you see we've got a bridge. It's going to cost us 95000 but if I left hold the left shift button and scroll down on these you see how it's dropping down into the ground and that's 90,000 that's 82 that's 76 69 63 61 61 55 55 and 78 so that is by as best I can do it on this quick build the cheapest I can get from Boston straight over to Portland um, and it's pretty much maximum speed now for some reason for some reason this bit here is not maximum speed I don't quite know why the speed limitation would be 56 kilometers an hour there but our early trains don't even go that fast so don't have to worry about it too much but then again clicking on it and you can see everything's returned to zero and it's all maximum now there's one there Boom. now why is this one Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason. Sometimes you can fiddle with it too much. So I've got the price down to 49,000. 754 I think everything is at maximum so right I'm not going to play with it anymore because I'll break it if I do so what's really cool is if we build that we can now come down here now th unfortunately this only works when you do it immediately after just building a line but you can now just click on that and it will follow the exact same contours of your previous line and plonk itself right in there all the way up to the next station and that's going to cost me 150,000, um, which is not a problem, it's got loads of cash. So I'm going, to, I'm going to do that right now. So now we have a double track uh, built down. Now, if you only have one track, you can only run one train on it. If you have two tracks, you can run 10, 15 trains on it. It's as many as you like, basically. Two things you need to do. You need to put a, a grid iron in. That gives a crossover point your trains can turn around when they get to the station. You need one at both ends. And in addition to that, you're going to need some supply towers. Now, I always recommend put a supply tower at the entrance to every station, not just to uh, be able to fill your trains with water as they go on their journey, but also if you want to demolish something, say I want to demolish this bit of track, you'll see that the water uh, barrier or the water fountain, the supply area, um, acts as a blocker. So we would only have to delete this bit of track. 
Now, if you wanted to change the tracks that these, or the platforms that these tracks connect to, this is a brilliant way of doing it. So I highly recommend you do that. It'll save you a lot of time and effort in the future. Okay, so we are 15 minutes in. Hopefully I've covered all the basics. We're going to get our first train in now. New rail line. Always, always, always click your destinations first because it's so easy to get distracted and hit that confirm button after selecting a train. You just hit, you pick a train, hit confirm, and then you've ruined the whole thing. You have to hit this again if you want to get rid of that. Very, very difficult not to get it wrong. So, um, we're going to go from Boston to Portland. Now, everyone will tell you to run express, okay? You don't need to do that. Unless, unless you're doing a mission that specifically requires you to have an ex express train that runs super fast and doesn't stop for anything, just run automatic. Honestly, it's going to still be an express train, especially in the early stages. So we're going to have two of these trains, two grasshoppers. It's the only train we've got because we haven't unlocked any more. The uh, loading is automatic. We're going to hit confirm. And we're going to unpause, and you can see our first train is coming in. Now I'm English, so if we come here to track direction, come down to the tracks and click on it, you can now instantly apply all of the signals for the train line. Now some people hate this and they want the old style back where we have to do the signalling ourselves. I think it would be good if they put that in as, a, as an option so you can pick how hard you want the game to be. And I suspect in time that will happen. But for now, we'll just roll with what we've got. So we've got our train. One cool feature of the new game is if you're zoomed in, it's super slow. If you zoom out, it speeds up time. Again, I think that should be an option, but I actually really quite like that as a feature. It took me a while to get used to it, I suppose, but once you've used it for a while, uh, you get pretty okay with it. You actually find it to be very, very useful. I'm just going to pause for a second so I can show you these. These are connection bonuses. I've got 136 days to run a train to Portland and back again in order to um, get that bonus. So I get 162,000 for that which will pay for that second line. So I'm, that's why I'm not too worried about putting the second line in. There's another business over here, which will also pay us some money, 104,000, if we can connect to it in 136 days. There's more over here. There's one at New York. There are quite a few of them. New York's gonna pay 319,000. Uh, this one will pay 198,000. So there's lots of incentives for you and they'll pop up and change over time. So look out for these, they're very, very useful. All right, so let's unpause, go to three times speed, and we're just gonna have our train, if I can click on it, you can see we've got 47 passengers and 23 uh, mailbags. We center the train, it will follow the train wherever it goes. It's gonna drop into Portland, unloading, we got 162,000 plus 5,500 for dropping the mail and the passengers off. And now it's going to head back to Boston. And when it gets to Boston, you'll notice that this train, even though it's a mixed train and not um, an express train, will get the express signature because it's just the fastest way of getting between Boston and Portland. There is no faster way of doing it. That's why it gets that reward. There you go, there's the, um, the express train. Now it can lose that if faster trains appear, but fundamentally that is done. So that one train is now running up and down and it's gonna be doing a fantastic job. In fact, we have two trains running now, up and down, and they're gonna be doing a fantastic job. Now the chances are that um, that's gonna to be too many trains uh, running just this little route here you know there's only how many passages did we say let's have a look 14 so we've got a hundred percent 
100% of the people and the mail is traveling by train. So we've got all of that revenue coming to us. And that's that, simple as. Now, one thing you've got to think about um, is if you click on the train station itself, we've got this option to construct an extension. And the first extension I recommend is a maintenance depot. It's going to cost you 80,000, but without it, your trains are going to break down quite a lot. Furthermore, click on it again and click on it again. And I would put that up to 80%. Transfer to all. And that means as soon as your train drops below 80%, which almost is now, it'll get serviced. Let's have a look at here. Right, it's 80% at the moment. It's bang on 80%. So when that drops 1% lower, it will go to Boston and it will come back again and then it will be serviced the next time it comes here. Okay, so we've got a bit of cash coming in. Let's just tell you how much. We're making about 4,461 a week. So that's not bad. That's not bad. That's going to return a profit fairly quickly. Um, so we can move on to the next thing. So businesses like this, the little wood business, if you look at the grade, the quality of the sales, the utilization over the last 10 weeks, you see it's quite low. So I imagine this is going to be about 100,000. 118,000. I am tempted to buy that because um, when you put the train tracks, I always recommend you buy uh, the, the business before you put the tracks down because it's only going to increase in value as long as you manage it correctly. Now, there, are, there is wood over here between uh, New York City and Albany. So maybe this is going to be a better log option as a business than this one. Um, so this time round, I'm going to hold off buying it. And I am going to put a station in here. Now these stations, both Portland and Boston, are facing this way. And like I say, the first track in the station is free or you get it with the, uh, with the train station. I find that turning on the contour lines is the best way to do this because it's so easy to see. You can see where the two circles uh, overlap here in the middle. As soon as you bring the station into it, you can see those green triangles. That means you're going to be able to pick up goods from there. Now, um, the first line is free, as I mentioned. And here we can extend out this way further and further and further. So what I'd like to do just have a little moment to think about which way round best suits me right now. Now ideally you want your express line, ideally you want your express line and your freight to be on two different um, uh, runs completely. So um, I'm going to put it in this way. Because I think it's going to make it easier to connect my freight line in the way that I want to. So let's use the one track that we've got. I'm going to come down here to Boston and I'm going to connect on the leftmost uh, track available. So that means that I've got one to the right of this line here and I've also got one to the right here, so I can put more and more tracks on there if I deem it necessary. That's 327,000. I've got lots of cash, it doesn't matter. Boston is going to get very busy, trust me. Right now we can get away with running just one line. We run the second line here straight up. Okay, so that was expensive. But don't forget, we're going to get 104,000 back straight away as soon as we run a line through here. So let's get a route going. So we want to go Portland, Adams Rest, Boston, back to Adams Rest to pick up more cows and uh, uh, lumber, and then they go back to Portland, MP. 
Now, again, you can run this on automatic. You don't have to do anything because fundamentally, automatic works very, very well. I'm just going to run the one train because we've got the one track. And um, what I like to do, I have a naming convention. So I have for freight, I put FR. For express, I put EX. For mixed, which is what we're running, or automatic, uh, I put MX for mixed. Um, and if it's special, I put special. So there's a track, a bit of uh, another track up here, which is what I use for special. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is a mixed route between Portland Adams Rest. And Boston. Okay, that's all the information I need. One one thing and we say yes. And that's just warning me that we're running on a line that has no direction. So they're basically saying if you run two trains on this, they're gonna you're gonna get stuck. One of them's not gonna be able to move. But it should have. A train. Somewhere. There he is. Started up the other end just to confuse me. So there's no stock on this, but there is a bit of mail. Okay, now I really like this because sometimes your freight is going to be maxed out and sometimes it isn't. So it's going to drop in here. It's just going to pick up cows. If I zoom out, you can see it all happens much quicker. Right, so he's just picked up cows. That's all he's picked up. So why has he picked up cows? Let's just go over this one more time so you totally, totally understand it. If we come back to Boston and look at their demand, their demand for the week is 2.4 units of livestock per week. They've got 5.6 in stock, but they probably want about a month's worth, something like that. I don't actually know what the target is. Once they've got what they deem to be enough, then they will look for something else. And the next thing they'll go for is lumber, because that's all that's there. So for now, it's just going to be cows being transported. But that's not its not a bad thing, because that's like 16,000. It's got to be about 16 grand, I reckon. 13,000, there you go. Slightly less, because uh, we had mailbags and passengers. But it's still taking mailbag and passengers... Um, over here so we've got a really good solid transportation system if you look here um, I don't know why this blanks out occasionally but it does Portland ME it's the most um, likely place people want to go and we are taking a hundred percent of the mail and the passengers so we totally nailed this that segment of the track is absolutely sorted right now if we look at Portland and we look at what they don't have. They don't have grain, this is really important. They don't have corn, that's really important. They don't have beer, that's really important. And they do have sugar. So they're getting their sugar by road from Bishop Farm. Whereas Boston, if we look at them, are getting no sugar at all. Uh, so their demand per week is very small amount, but they're not even getting that. They're getting absolutely nothing at all. So what I propose to do is to look at Bishop's Park Farm, 138,000. Okay, I'm going to buy that. It's not a brilliant price, but because of our character, we won't pay 158, we'll only pay 96,000. So that's pretty good. Right, I'm going to show you now how warehouses work. Now for this route, bearing in mind we're in a... Um, in a map that's cut off so there's nothing over here this is all blank it ends here at this corner so there is nothing further up there so all i need to do is worry about getting that one single track built onto this stock side which is on the top not the bottom so in this instance i'll turn it around if you want to know where um, where a really good route to take is, like where's a good place to put your station, 
just have a look at the existing road system that's almost guaranteed to be your best spot right so i'm just going to pump that there i'm going to run a line remember the first line is free i'm going to run that line up to our stock line and we say build that's 40 grand I could probably get that a bit cheaper Chucking in a couple of these, 36,000, 32,000. There's still no increase. We're at maximum speed all the way. Built. That's all I need to do there. So again, put a water supply tower in near the station itself. Got to do that up here actually. Let's just drop that in. Doesn't really matter which side of the tracks you put the supply tower because it will move and change with the tracks as you expand so we're going to create a new rail line from bishop train station to portland me and we're going to give it a name so we're going to say sp for special we'll say sugar to portland and that's how i keep track of it now the reason why I name them that way is because you can filter by a few things here and I find that if you filter by name uh, having the MX and the um, the other names just makes life a little bit easier. I'm not sure why I didn't name that one. I forgot. I'll change that in a second. Right, so we've got one train. It's mixed. It can be mixed. It's not a problem. Um, oh, hang on. I take it I didn't build that. Okay, let's do it again. Unfortunately, if you um, click off anything, it undoes all your work. It's, it's quite frustrating. Right, special sugar to Portland. One train on it. Leave it on automatic. Confirm. Yeah, once again, it's just telling me that uh, you don't have uh, controlled tracks. So let me just go in this one. What is this one? So this is our express. So I'm going to come in, edit the line, click up here. And although it's not an express, I'm going to call it mixed from Boston to Portland. There you go. So it's, you see, it's easier for me to keep track of each of the different types. Um, I think they could do that automatically, honestly, but they choose not to. So anyway, right, let's filter by how much cash these things are making. According to this, this isn't making any money. It's highly unlikely. Why is he just sat there? Some things gone wrong. There are quite a few bugs in the game that I've noticed. Right, he's moving now. I don't know why he was just stopped there. Let's see some cash coming in. So that's 1,571. That's 13,000. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to reduce this to just one train. We'll get a refund of 9,000 because we're on the easy level. So that's a nice, nice little bonus that we can get there. But he's having a small breakdown. That's okay. The repair center's right there. And this should be, I think, filling up on water. Now he should be picking up wood round right about now. Been crackling on for too long. Bit of wood? No? Okay, we're still going to do another run of livestock. Now, if you don't want the passengers and the mailbags to go with the animals, because perhaps they don't like it, uh, you just edit the rail line, you come in here and you set it to freight. And that's it, you've confirmed it. So it won't pick up mailbags or passengers anymore. Furthermore, if you come up here, um, which we'll be doing this one, 
and you edit that rail line, you can come in here and you can say, at Adam's rest, on the way to Boston, I want you to prioritise wood. Or you can say, I don't want you to pick up any cows at all, just wood. And if you're going to do that, that's the same. So it will just pick up wood. If they want 10 of each, this would say prioritise the wood first. So it would pick up 8 wood, and then on the second run it would pick up 2 wood, and then 6 cows. But most of the time, you're okay just to, just to leave it as it is. Okay. So that's pretty good. We have got sugar up here. Now, you'll notice that the sugar train has got one piece of sugar on it, which is a total waste of time and effort and money. So when you're doing special routes, I highly recommend you come in and you say a minimum of eight. So unless there's a demand of eight units of sugar or eight sugar units available, then don't leave the station. Just sit there and wait until you've got eight cargo loads. Now, and we can do the same for Adam's rest. We really don't need to. <coughs> right now, I'm pretty confident this time he's going to come in and he's going to pick up some wood. Not all wood, but some wood. Well, make it a bit quicker. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, they're still after cows. But bear in mind, we are just running one train. So maybe if we put two trains on there, uh, this would already be done by now. But it's okay because we're keeping our costs down and we're making a profit on every single line. So all is good. Right, if we, look, if we just focus on the sugar for a moment and come into Portland and look at their uh, coverage, you can see that they've now got 100% of all the sugar they need. So they don't need any more sugar. They've got enough sugar to last them five weeks, six weeks, something like that. So they're not too bothered about it. But if we come down to Boston and look at them, they still haven't got any sugar. So why is that? Well, the reason is that the only stuff you can pick up from this station is what they produce in the town. And all they produce is meat. So the fact that they have got sugar just means that they've got sugar for themselves. They don't have sugar for Boston. So if you want to transport sugar to Boston, you're going to have to put a warehouse in the train here. But warehouses are not available to start with. So we need to come up to research. We need to unlock iron fibre tubes. And then below that, we can unlock warehouses. So if we close all this down and we come back into here, you can see we can now add a warehouse. It's 140,000, but we're going to add that. Now, warehouses on their own don't do anything. You have to tell them specifically what you want to store. So we specifically want to store sugar. And that's it. We've already configured everything else to run. So, we've got a track train here. Actually, let's come over here. You see, all of a sudden, this train that wasn't going to bring any sugar at all is now well on his way with eight loads of sugar. But the sugar is one for Portland and then nine for Boston. But he's not going to drop it off at Boston. He's going to drop it off here. And then one of these trains, one of the freight trains rather, is going to pick it up. In fact, yes, it will be one of these trains. Because uh, it's still unmixed. So it could be one of the express trains or it could be one of the freight trains. We're going to pick up that sugar and take it to um, Boston. Whichever train gets there next, basically. Depending on what, uh, what demands are there. Right, so let's have a look see here. So we finally got a mixture of wood and uh, livestock. So I'm not sure if we've done this in time or not. Did we get a bonus for that? I'm not sure if we did. But you can see that the uh, utilisation has gone from very low to 
So if we look at the price now, you see it's gone up. It's gone up to 137, and it will continue to go up as long as utilisation is high. So let's see what, see if he picks up sugar. So he's got the sugar. He's going to take nine cubes of sugar to Boston, and that's how um, warehouses work. Now, if you want to push that further down to New York City, um, then you're going to have to um, you, you, you're going to have to make sure that a the sugar plantation is producing enough. So, 1.6 units a week. Uh, so, let's see here. Portland need how much? 0.2. And Boston need. Bit the same 0 0.2 okay and let's just have a look at new york city 0 0.2 so we're already producing just at level one we're producing enough sugar to satisfy to satisfy uh, all of these um all of these companies with sugar so we can get enough sugar to everyone there's another sugar plantation there, but we don't really need that because we've got all, all the sugar we need right now. So let's start thinking about a route to New York. So this is going to be an inside line. And if we look at the contours, let's see we've got a lot of hills. Oh, this is interesting as well. This, um, this is... Uh, <laughs> An Indian village. Now, if you try and put something in here, Indians currently live here. Some Indians relocate the position of their village multiple times a year. If you want to lay tracks in this spot now, right now, you'll have to recompense the inhabitants. So you have to pay them money if you want to go through there. So try not to go through there. Um, but again, if you look at the road, the road is a good indication of a route you should think about taking, perhaps. But I want to make a nice route, so I'm going to put a station down here. Remember, you get one track for free when you put the station down. So what I'm going to try and do is put it in alignment with the contours of the hill. But I want to face it inwards like that. So that the one track I get is in alignment with the track I want to connect to. So let's see how much that's going to cost me. Boom. New York City. Direct track, two million. Now if we look at the track, you can see that everything is purple or pink or magenta. That is a tunnel, and tunnels are very expensive. Uh, bridges are far less expensive but everything is expensive. And there's even a section there which is just completely inaccessible. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and put a nice straight line straight out of Boston. And we're going to click on the track and this gives us markers that we can now pull about and adjust accordingly. What we want to do is we want to find us an area like this we could perhaps, there you go, try and keep everything on the same level and eliminate all the tunnels as best we can, all the tunnels, all the bridges, we're trying to keep everything at the same elevation, there may be a little bridge there that I can't get away with and then into New York. So look at this, maximum speed, maximum speed, maximum speed, three degree incline, I could probably fix that. It's made it worse. <laughs> so a two degree incline is fine, a five degree is not okay, two degree again is fine, so two degree max, two degree max, one degree with a speed limit, which is a bit annoying. One degree max, Maximum speed, maximum speed. So I just need to get rid of this tunnel. So I find if I put one at the beginning, one in the middle, 
one at the end, I can usually iron them out without too much difficulty. So there's two degree there, but maximum speed. Uh, two degree, one degree, maximum speed. Maximum speed is the most important thing. And we've got that down from 2 million to 229,000. So I'm well happy with that. I'm going to click it. We now have a track uh, from Boston to New York City. So this is the express line. So we're going to put an express train on there, but we're going to keep it mixed for now. I only change it to express if I really need to. It's going from Boston to New York. Pick our locomotive. We're just going to have one. Leave it on automatic always try and click two destinations first because it really screws you up otherwise and confirm it will always warn you that you're putting it on tracks without signals on basically right so we should have if I turn this off a train preparing one hopes to New York. There it is. And you can see it's got some passengers and it's got loads of meat. Now, if you remember, Boston produced meat and come down to New York, you can see that they have a requirement for meat. Now, it turns out that they've got 100% of meat, and that's only because there are seven units of meat coming by the train and they've got 2.7 units in here. Now if you want to know where the hell they're getting their meat from, you can click on this. Sometimes it tells you. It doesn't always. So they're getting their meat from Philadelphia and Boston. Now the Philadelphia link must be by road because there's no train there. So that must be taking forever. So we're going to take all of that produce um, and it's all going to come from Boston. Now, if we look inside Boston at the meat factory and see how much that is to buy, it's 364,000. Now that's not bad because this is a, a business that's going to do very, very well. They're going to make big profits, this company. Easily make big profits. But if you wanted to buy a meat factory, let's go and have a look at Portland, for example, at their meat factory. They're far less productive, so their price is... Let's wait for that auction to finish. Finished? Right. So their price is 247000 which is quite high considering how little uh, they produce. But what you could do is you could buy the one in Portland, which is cheaper, and then stop taking meat from Boston to New York and take it from over here in Portland instead. And you'll find that Portland will grow very, very quickly and the value of the Boston brand will plummet just as quickly. And then you could buy the Boston plant out for say 100,000 uh, and then sell it and swap it out for something else. You can do whatever you want. It's a nice little tip there that um, really helps, I find. Right, so train has dropped off the meat and he's picked up more passengers more mail and loads of cloth for boston now i did mention to you that uh, new york creates cloth so uh, that's why that's happening now if we look over the over the bridge here we can see that we've got uh, some some wood and some uh, wool which we'll want to start bringing into new york but if we look at new york's demands they're pretty much the same all cities are pretty much the same they're not getting any corn they're not getting any grain and they're not getting any sugar now we've got a sugar plant so all we have to do to get our sugar from portland sorry from uh, bishop train station through portland through boston and down to new york is to add sugar sorry First of all, we need to buy a warehouse and then add sugar to that list. 
click on the warehouse, click on sugar, we are now sending sugar down there. And if we click on cloth, then it will work the other way. So the cloth that we bring in from, uh, from New York, this stuff, which is currently all for Boston, will filter down towards Portland. So Portland would start getting some cloth in as well. Hope that's making sense. So Boston requirements for cloth, very low, 0.2%. Not huge amounts of cloth is gonna be coming up here. So we really don't need a lot of trains running up and down this route. But uh, I feel that one track is probably not enough. So we are going to build a second track. Just to give us the avenue and the option and ability. A, to show off how cool that new mapping technique is. Although, look at this. It's built a little tunnel for me on a section of track there for some unknown reason. And this is where it can cock up. There are times when this fantastic system is not perfect. So that's going to cost us quite a bit of money just for that stupid little tunnel there, but also the connection of the uh, New York platform. Now, it could cause all sorts of problems. Um, when we put the next line in, there's no real way of knowing what's going to happen on the next section. It may get rid of that. It may a deeper tunnel I really don't know we'll have to just wait and see but anyway we've got the track in and we'll put a crossover in this end followed by some water because this is such a long route we'll put water in the middle as well we'll put water over this end over here too. Now, before I go any further, I just want to add uh, a maintenance depot here, because there are trains that will only reach Boston uh, and nothing else, so uh, I want to be able to repair the trains there also. Now, sometimes um, it's worthwhile, and you can put a station anywhere and turn it into a warehouse. Put a station anywhere you like, build a warehouse at it, and it's a warehouse. Exactly the same as the first game. Works exactly the same way as the first game. Uh, but there are other things you can do as well, like a dispatch hall, um, which allows trains to be loaded 20% faster. That doesn't sound like much, but actually that's like having a massive speed upgrade to your train. Uh, and it makes a huge difference. So again, full loaded. Look at the profits, we're making 8,000, uh, 5,300, and we've still got that express train route. Um, now, Boston to New York, we haven't got the express train route uh, award yet, but I suspect we will get it in time, so it's not a big deal. Right, let's put the track direction in. And this is going to break the train, unfortunately, so it will disappear, go back to Boston and start again. Just make sure it goes all the way down, it does. So we've now got routes that bring sugar into Portland and then distribute it all the way down to New York. We've got uh, stuff from New York which has been distributed to Boston and then further on to Portland and we've got meat and other produce from Boston which is coming down to New York City. Over here we've got Kelly's Estate which is um, a fruit manufacturer and if we look at New York you can see they don't need fruit yet but when they've got 45,000 citizens they will and if we can get fulfillment of demand up to 60 percent uh, sorry then New York will start growing. If we can get 75 percent I think uh, then it starts growing at double speed which is I mean, that's proper growing very, very, very fast. Now, we do have some goods here that we want for New York, and we've got Albany here, but we've got a tricky bit of river that we're gonna have to navigate over. So let's just do this. Now, it's important, I wanna show you this bit here. This is really, really key to how everything works in this game. 
it's going to be the most important lesson I think of this entire tutorial so please do stick with me I know it's long it's already nearly an hour long hopefully it's been useful uh, to you already but this is probably the most important thing of all so we have got an express line coming in on the left so that would be an express line uh, so yeah okay let's stick with the express line idea but we'll have it on mixed just look at the contours you can see it's a contour there that I should be able to utilize to my advantage hopefully we're going to put the station in and get rid of the contours connect this up to New York Okay, I like that quite a lot. 183,000. I could probably tweak that and get it down a little bit, but um, you know, time is limited, and we want to get this built. I want to show you as much as I can, so we'll just we'll say yeah, 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 whatever. That's fine. Um, next up is going to be. station over here at Albany. Now milk is another produce that uh, we will need uh, soon enough, not immediately but eventually. Um, and I want to give Albany a lot of straight track. I'm quite sure what direction we're going to go off in if I'm being totally honest. Uh, so we'll keep it the same as we've got it here. Or will we? No, actually, I think we'll turn it around so that the track utilization. That's not going to work. Gonna lose it. Okay, we're going to have to expand Albany basically. So we're going to pop this in here. I don't know, I'm half tempted to have it this way actually. case it'll make more sense. You see that red building there? That's what we've got to be careful of. If I can get that there. And that keeps the freight line on the inside. Uh, the express line on the inside. But yeah, so that's the problem. We want the freight line to be on the outside for this particular what's oh, going to be tricky. Right. I think I've decided. <laughs> it's all of work in progress. And, you know, I've watched very experienced players play in this game. It doesn't matter how good you are, how much you know, um, you are still going to get confused and lost and make mistakes. It's just that kind of game. It really is. Right, so let's try and get these contours working to our advantage. You see this contour down here. Uh, we need another one. Sort of here-ish. As much as we can stay on a single console, the better. Now you can see we've got extremely high uh, element there. Four is too much. Three is my absolute maximum. I, I do not want to go above three. So what we'll do is we'll put these markers in. And we'll try desperately to even them all out so that everything is on maximum. Okay, so that's maximum, maximum, maximum. That's a 11 degree uh, incline there. That's way too much. Three is too much. We'll even that out. So there you go. Zero, two, one, two, two. Maximum speed all the way along the line. I'm quite happy with that going to cost 401,000. There's a lot of earth to be dug out. And um, the most expensive bit, of course, is because I'm connecting here. Uh, in fact, I can't afford to do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the existing line. 51,000. We saved ourselves a fortune there. Not bad. Another step done. We'll put the, uh, the water tower in so that we can delete this bit of track and bring it to where we want it later on when we've got a bit of cash. 
Right, so we're just running a single line here. That's all we can afford to do. Let's turn this off. And let's make that line before I run out of cash. So, new rail line. So we're going to go from New York City to Anderson to Albany to back to Anderson and then back to New York. So we're just we're just transferring goods and people between that line, just on one train. Put the one train in, and we'll see. This is a mixed train from New York to Albany. Actually, I'll mention Anderson as well. Anderson to Albany. Right, <clears throat> one train, loading is automatic, confirm. That's absolutely fine. So, if you come and look at the train, you can see he's loaded up with loads and loads of cloth. And he's going to come down here and transport that to Albany, because Albany need cloth. Now, Albany make beer. And everybody needs beer. So they're going to bring beer back. And all we're going to see for the first, I don't know, 10, 15 drop-offs is cloth for Albany and beer for New York and beer for New York and beer for New York. And then occasionally we'll get a bit of wool and a bit of wood. Now if we come and look at this wood, look at that, less than 100,000. I'm going to buy that. Sixty-eight thousand. we ended up paying for that one because of the bonus of our character. This is going to be way more expensive because <clears throat> utilization is so high. So that's half a million for that. So we're not going to buy that one at all. But uh, we have got access to all of the goods and the stock here. Let's see, this is totally packed. Totally packed going all the way to Albany. But Albany need grain in order to make their beer. So we need First of all, how much is this? 140,000. I'm going to buy that as well. Because I think that's going to make us a lot of money. We paid 98,000 for that, which is a very good price. We're going to put a station in here. Carefully looking at the contours, I think close to that as possible. Now, which way do I want to do this? So I want to try and keep So this express line is probably going to come somewhere in the middle here and I want a dedicated double line well for now, for now, for now, for now I want a dedicated single line there it's 385,000 that's because I'm going to have to build this whole platform. Okay. We'll bite the bullet and we'll use the same track as the other guys using. 35 grand. That's money well spent. Let's turn that off. Put the water tower in. Both ends. I may have forgot to do that over here. Yeah. that killed the train as soon as I clicked on it, it's quite annoying. It does happen sometimes, you just have to try not to do it and just get over it when you do. It's going to start again in New York, a bit annoying, but such is life. Right, so we've got coal train station. Now this is the most important thing, right, because, you see we're producing 21 units of grain. How much grain do Albany need? They need 1.2 units per week. So they're going to want to have in store five times that. So they're going to have to have six units just for Albany. So if we look in here, we're not producing six units a week. So before we've even done anything, we know we've got to upgrade. And even that's going to produce 5.6 units. So even that isn't going to be enough to supply Albany and New York and Boston and Portland so we're gonna to have to spend a lot of money upgrading this 
and we're probably going to have to have quite a few trains, at least I would say two trains running this route. But for now, we can't afford any of that because we're running low on cash. I'm just going to go from Coal Station to Albany and back again. This is a special rain route to Albany. Pick the button, pick a train, leave it on automatic. Um, I don't think don't think that's going to do anything weird but in Albany we are going to have to build first of all uh, a maintenance depot to keep our trains active and we're going to have to build a warehouse so that we can start distributing this stuff like I say we're not even producing enough of that stuff to keep Albany supplied so we're going to have to make some money and we're going to have to expand um, this company. Now New York has already started growing, look at this. So they're getting no grain still, still no corn, but they're getting the beer. They're getting the beer from Albany and that's keeping them very happy. They're very pleased with that. They've got the sugar because they're getting that from all the way up here from us. They've got the wool because we've produced this line here. They've got the wood because of the same thing. So once they start getting grain, they're really going to start taking off. They're going to start growing very quickly. Once they get to 35, they're going to want milk. There's some milk here, so we're going to have to create a line coming into Albany, put Albany uh, milk into the warehouse in Albany so that we can distribute that to New York. So we can do that now, even though we don't have access to it yet. Let's see, that sale's ready. We're going to need to store milk in the warehouse. So milk and grain, because we know that's going to be coming this way. And corn is going to be coming this way. And not beer, because they produce beer. Not sugar, nothing like that. We don't need any of that. Vegetables are going to be coming this way. And probably cheese at some point, I would hasten to guess. And that's all I can think of right now. So Albany is going to start shipping all those things. So if we come down to New York, we put a warehouse here. Got just enough cash for this. Now New York can join in this distribution game. So what we can do is we can click on this and we can say go into the warehouse. So when when we get grain from Albany, we're going to say we'll keep bring us extra grain and we'll send it up to Boston. And then Boston will say well. Bring us extra grain and we'll send it down to Portland. That's how it's going to work. That's how the whole thing works. Same with corn, if we ever get any. Um, beer. They definitely want beer sent up that way. I don't think they need wool. I don't think they need cloth. Oh, they do need cloth, but we produce that, so I don't need to do that. Milk is going to have to go up, there, up that way. Vegetables are going to have to go up that way. And... We'll hold on to the last one because I don't know how to do it yet. Yeah. So, um, let's take a quick check on how things are going. So let's look at the finances. We're making profit on everything, absolutely everything, even the sugar, which is quite surprising because there's not much really going anywhere. Oh, uh, is New York holding on to sugar? sugar in the warehouse we don't have sugar in the warehouse let's just check and see if Albany need any sugar they do they've got zero sugar so we'll say all right yeah send us a bit of extra sugar we'll keep it in the warehouse and we'll send it over to Albany and that's more profit for us for our little company which we don't really need to expand because it's such a small amount of um, goods required or sugar required per week that um, I think we're going to still have enough but I imagine this train is filling up there we go eight loads it's just waiting for the line to clear I think and then he'll be on his way there you go so he's already shifting that sugar to head down to New York so that they can pass it on to Albany that's how it's all working, it's so important. But this is what will trip you up, is this. Not having enough uh, 
grain in order to supply everybody. So you can see we've only got six units of grain left. That's not very much at all. Let's come into the business. Now you can see we're running low on cash. You've got some options. You can. We're making 19,000 a week, which is not bad. We can patiently sit and watch. That money will soon build up and we'll be able to do more stuff. Uh, the quarterly report's coming in. Looks pretty good. We can buy shares in our competitors, and that might make us money. She's actually bigger than we are right now. We can also sell bonds for our own business. Now, you've got 98 weeks, and you're going to be paying 7.1% of 594,408. And at the end of that, you've got to pay, you have to pay back 594,408 plus 7.1% interest. And if you cancel it early, there's um, a fine as well. So these are very useful as a, you know, I know I'm going to make money here. I've just got to get it done quick. They're very useful for that. So anyway, you can see we're growing quite well. Got a decent amount of cash coming in. There's a bonus there if we could connect that up. But I don't think we can get there for 131,000 because look at the contours. Yeah, that is right up the hill. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe we could. But, you know, as we have our own sugar company, it kind of works in our favour not to help this company at all. That's 90,000 for that company. Let's be honest though, nobody needs that much sugar. So there's no point at this moment in time spending any cash uh, helping the sugar company development out because if we come up here to our own sugar company we can see that we're making 3,800 a week so that's good profits we don't want to mess with that what about the log company what are we making here we uh, oh we didn't buy that one did we we bought this one so what are we making here 571 a week so not fantastic let's be honest but I suspect New York has all the wood they need. And Albany has all the wood they need. Now, when they get to 40,000... Yeah, plenty of wood. When these two places get to 40... Look at New York now. New York is growing super fast. 80.8% fulfillment. So it's growing super fast now. When it gets to 40,000 inhabitants, We'll be able to put another business in there and businesses inside of cities they're like gold mines they are like gold mines so we've got this wood industry here if we start making wood related things um, we can make this more profitable because demand will go up and we'll also be able to start shipping out stuff now let's just put that into context wooden type things you're going to take the lumber and you're going to turn it into something like this Nobody's going to want to buy that until there are 55,000 citizens in the city. But the way this is growing, we're going to get there really quickly. So, we've got definite options. Putting uh, businesses in cities, though, very expensive. Very expensive. Right, do we have a single line here or a double line? Just a single. Let's see how much it's going to cost me. Double line. 124,000. I'll do it. Do not put these crossover points too close to the water because I've noticed there's a bug where a train will just get stuck and it will sit there and it won't be able to get water or progress. Um, so just be wary of that bug. Right, there we go. So we've doubled up that track. Let's see how much it's going to cost me to double it up the other way. One other great feat. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right, this is the perfect example. Then. And because our finances were low, it's going to cost me 38000 right? Which I can afford, so I'm going to build that.
Okay, so I put a supply tower there to, so that I can delete all this track. I have plenty of space to try and line everything up the way I want it to be lined up. Uh, we're not going to do that just yet, that track route, because I don't have the cash. But one of the nice things they've done is they've added uh, multiple track planning. So let's say uh, you want this to connect to uh, the other side of this. Click that and it would say, oh, you can't do that, it's too expensive. You say, alright, well, I'm going to keep that for later because I still want to use it. But I'm going to go to track planning 2 just to design my next bit of track and sort of go on. And you've got five of these at your disposal. Get rid of those in case I accidentally build one, which I have done in the past. Um, right, okay, so... So this train is doing a fantastic job, and it is bringing grain to uh, New York. Now, I suspect that it's not going to be enough to fill the warehouse. It is going to fill the warehouse. We're going to get six extra units of grain, which we can send up to Boston and whatnot. So that is going to reach Boston. Let's just make sure Boston is going to... Pass it on as well. They're not, so let's just put that in. Grain and beer and uh, what else is coming up? Hopefully, corn at some point, but not at the moment. Uh, right, so for now, that's all that's coming this way, and that's fine. Zoom out a little bit, let time speed up. So desperate to get a second train on here. Now I could technically put a second train on here because it will sit there and wait for the train to go around and come back before it goes on. So we could do that right now. Um, but ideally we need to have two tracks to, uh, to make this work proper proper. Properly proper and all that. Small breakdown. Right now, how's Albany got the repair yard? Yeah, that's huge set. Okay, good. So they're all going to get repaired, so that's fine. New York doesn't have to have that. So what New York can have is the dispatch hall. And that just means it loads up goods and sends them out really quickly, which is actually quite a useful little. Uh, useful little thing. How many people are in there now? 30,000 already. So we're almost ready to put another uh, company in that, into New York City. Which is very exciting. We do need to save up some cash for that though, because they, they are very expensive. We're talking half a million or more sometimes. How are we doing over here? So you can see we have run out of grain. And this is what's going to kick us in the butt. So we think everything's going great, New York's growing, Boston's going to be growing soon, Portland will soon start to be growing, Albany's definitely going to start growing soon. And then all of a sudden they all stop. And you're like, well, what's happened? Why has everything stopped? And the reason why it stopped is because grain has ground to a halt. Um, and not the distribution, but the production. So we really do need to um, do something here to produce more grain. <laughs> but we also need to hold on to our cash so that we can put a business into New York City because that's going to make us a lot of money eventually. Not straight away, annoyingly, but eventually. What I might do actually, New York City, as it grows, it's going to need milk first, then vegetables, then fruits, and then at 50,000 clothing, which is going to come before wooden planks. It might make sense to put clothing in there before uh, wooden planks it might make more sense right how is this train doing you can see it's absolutely loaded but it's still got its um, express train ranking because it's the fastest way to get between new york and albany um, if we come up here and click on i and train utilization and zoom all the way out you can see that that train is red what that basically means is 
every time that train goes between these two locations, it is fully loaded, which is basically the game's way of saying you should put another flipping train on here. Because we haven't got enough trains uh, running this route. Same with this one. So let's do it. Uh, we can actually put a train on there, so we'll double that to two. We've now got two trains running from Boston to New York. Hopefully that's going to bring in more cash uh, and it will ease up the workload on this train. And once we get enough cash, we will do the same over here. But in order to do this, we need to build another platform and that's 50 grand straight away. 50 grand, which I don't really got. Everything else seems to be fine. If it's green, it means it's, you know, not overloaded at all. If it's yellow, it means it's working bloody hard, but not too hard. And that all looks very good to me. So this video is one hour and 20 minutes. I'm going to try and wrap it up pretty soon. What I really wanted to do, what I tried to do in the other videos, was to um, get one of the cities up to 100,000. So I can show you how to do that. I think that's like a full circle of everything you could possibly need to know in this game. Um, 102,000. How long have I got till that's... It's going to be there so quick, isn't it? What was that? It's like an auction, but I didn't see one. That was weird. Right. Let's see if I've got enough cash and time. So I'm going to pause it, because I don't want to break anything too badly. I'm just going to destroy that bit of track and that bit of track. This is why I put the water butters in by the stations, just to drum that home. Right, so that freight line is going to be running on something else. I think the express line is going to run probably straight down there. But we're going to be bringing in milk from over here. So I need to leave two tracks for the milk. And we're going to have to come in here, so that's 113,000. Ouchio. Ouchio. How much will that one cost me? 63,000, right. So we're going to have to be patient. We need another 63,000, and then we're going to probably need another 60,000 on top of that in order to put another train in. But we have got an extra train on the route now. So everything is still making a profit. Not huge profits, I admit, but a profit. This is doing quite well. Let's just see if it's still actually delivering anything or just sitting there and looking pretty. Being serviced, of course it is. So it's just sitting there and looking pretty at the moment, and so he should be, because he's being serviced. The Boston to New York run again. Uh, it looks like the trains are overloaded, so we may have to chuck a third train at that. Also helps if I remember to unpause the game. I wonder why it wasn't moving. That does explain a lot. So we're going to need about half a million very, very soon, and we're not going to have it. So what I might do is borrow it. Speculate to accumulate 647,000 at 7.5% interest. We've got 81 weeks to earn that money back. It's a bit of a gamble, but it's what you might call a calculated gamble. Boston to Portland has still got that express train route signal, but uh, it looks like the New York line has lost it, probably because it's overloaded all the time. Once we get that second track in and get a second train in, it should get it back. If not, we can always create an express train, if necessary. Or, we can always come into research and unlock a faster train. That was a silly thing to do, because now that I've done that, um, this is not going to be an express train for much longer, because there's a faster train available. See it? It's like really panicking now. Because it's like, there are faster trains and I don't know how to be faster. So, anyway. 63,000. Built. 
crossover in. Uh, the water's already there, so I don't need to do anything with that. Just need to do a crossover this side. Not that we really do any crossovers here, but it keeps things nice and tidy. In case I ever want to. And now we do some direction stuff. Those two are already done. Continue with left hand drive because I'm British. Right, groovy. And unfortunately, it reset the train to New York, so all of those goods we didn't get any profit from. And for the first time ever, is not fully laden, which is interesting. And New York City is growing slower. So that's probably because nothing has actually reached Albany for the last three weeks. And I think we're all starting to run out of grain. There's probably no grain in New York. Let's have a look, see. Well, they've, they've got some, but there's not a lot. There's not a lot. Boston is growing, so Boston must be getting some grain as well. So everybody's getting a little bit of grain, but it's unmistakable that we are constantly running out, which is not good. There's two things I want to do. I want to build something in New York City, like a cut my business, and Albany's growing as well. Very nice. And I want to upgrade uh, the coal train station because we need more uh, of this stuff. So, this is what we're holding for at the moment. We're being patient. New York City is very close to hitting 40,000. So keep your eye on that because opponents will get in there so quickly uh, you're just waiting for another 10,000 to accumulate in your bank and you go to do it and they're there and they've stolen it. It's happened to me so many times. Incredibly frustrating. Right, so, how are we doing on this train? Still 100% maxed out, so we probably need maybe another two trains between Boston and New York. But before I do that, I want to get one to Albany. So let's, let's do it now. Let's do the Albany now. Click on the train, we edit the route, we add a second train, we confirm it, we close. And there he is. There he is. Straight away loading up with sugar and pork. No meat, interestingly. Perhaps they don't need any meat at the moment. Have they got all the meat they need? No, they have no meat. Why is there no meat coming down from up there? So we look in the warehouse. They don't store meat. Very silly mistake. Right, we'll take vegetables off and we'll put meat on. And we're not getting any corn, so I'm going to take that off as well. Right, so meat is now coming down. Sugar is coming down. Beer is going up, grain is going up, and soon milk will be going up as well. Right, so that was a mistake. So we should see the next train leaving Boston. I know that's come from there. But this train here. No, nope, still can't click on it. Boom. No? Boom. Gotcha. Right, so it's not carrying very much. Rather disappointing load, to be honest. But once it gets to Boston, it's going to be fully laden, I'm sure. With me. Except he's being serviced. It always happens when I'm trying to show you something. Always get serviced at the worst possible moment. All right, fine. World's five. There you go. Loads of meat coming back down. So that's going to make Boston grow. That's going to make uh, New York grow. That's going to make Albany grow. So New York must be perilously close. Yeah, 500 people. 500, well, less than 500 people now. And we can put a business into New York. Now we've got the wool, we've already got the cloth, so the sensible thing to do, I think, is to build the clothing, fashion, as it's called. So as soon as that pops up, I'm gonna get a loan and we're gonna do it. Back, let's go get the loan now. I like the fact that this has got a low interest, 318,000, but that's not going to be enough to do what I want. I need this one. Which is a shame, because it's an all-or-nothing all sort of uh, 
experience. Right, New York has grown, and you can see there's a, an option here to add a new production line. So if we click on that, we already know what we want to do because we've thought about it. And just put it somewhere sensible. That looks like the best place for me. So we now own that company and we will be producing clothes for New York City. New York City itself won't actually need clothes until they hit 50,000, but I'm pretty sure they're going to hit 50,000 rather quickly. Now, we've got 350,000 left and we want to upgrade this. How much is it going to cost? 220. Bomb. So now our production has just doubled. So instead of having no grain all the time, we should have more grain. And the thing you've got to remember is, as these towns and cities are growing, the demands are increasing. So let's take a look at sugar, which was always 0.2. It's doubled. So now it's 0.4. So now they want 9.3 units of sugar. So let's go and have a look at our sugar production. You can see we've still got 14 and 14, so we're okay there. We've got everything covered, and I think Albany should have sugar. Yep, we've got 100% sugar, so it's all working, and everything is in a nice little tickety-boo box. The only thing that's not, although it seems to be, is the grain. We may need to upgrade again. But how much grain do you think Albany want now? What was it before? 6.4 or something? Uh, they now need 2.1. Okay, so it's 2.1 a week, so it must have been 1. Point. Oh no, they haven't ranked up yet. Okay, so Albany have got 27,000 people. When they get to 40,000, then their demand is going to double. So at the moment it's 2.1 a week. That's going to double to 4.2 a week. And we only currently produce 5.6. That would only leave... 1.4% uh, or whatever it is for New York, Boston and Portland which is not going to be enough so in order to keep everybody growing you've got to keep this ticking over right, what can I build here to help I could do the dispatch but I don't think it's going to help that much actually Right, let's have a look at our business. This is our new clothing business. It's making 4,800 a week. Don't quite know how because there's no demand for it, but 4,800 a week before there's demand for it. That's a pretty good going, right? Boston is growing, 27,000. So what we're going to be needing to do is build something in here. Now New York, what are they going to start needing next? They're going to start needing, already needing milk and vegetables, right? Fruit will be coming next. There's a fruit company there. There's a milk company here. How much is that worth? 90,000. Let's grab it. Okay, so that's that done. Now, what we want to do is put a station in here. Now, <laughs> I've done this a few times, okay? So we can reach it from this side of the river. We can save ourselves a bit of hassle, a bit of hassle, and I do mean emphasise a bit. It's not, it's not over yet, that's for damn sure. Right, so we've got the line in, and we're going to come round and we're going to connect this. That's why we left two routes open for there. Let's just make sure that the inside line, yep. So the second line is going to come on the inside. That's going to cost 177,000. What we want to do is bring up our contour. Actually, it's done a really good job of sticking to the contour line. But I think we could do a better job. Now, I said to you before, three is the maximum I'm willing to accept. Four is too much. So three, it can come in at three. We've got maximum speed all the way around. So that's all pretty good. This is just a little bit too high. 
Now that makes that five degrees. So we've got to bring all of these up in order to get those down, if that makes sense. I'm going to turn that off a second. You can see it. it's trying to maintain a height here so there's not too much of a climb. Now what we could do is we could move this further into the hill. Uh, not this one, right? let, me just, let me just put a marker here because I want this to stay exactly there. And that one stay exactly there. Why is that clock at 54 mile an hour limit? That's silly. Good. So let's move it into the hill. Now there's much less incline all the way along. And let's put this one up by one. No. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. We've got one at three degrees, but to be honest with you, um, that is, I mean, it is going up a hill on the side of a mountain for goodness sakes but that's going to cost 122,000 to put the second line in so we're not going to focus on that right now but we do own the milk company I think did I buy it yes I did and we can now put a line going in here once again it's a special moving milk to Albany have one train we'll keep it on automatic in fact no let's put it on free because uh, that is all he's going to do uh, actually there's a john bull for a little bit more money that makes him a little bit faster of course we've only got one track and one train so it gives me that warning of do you realize you've only got one track and one train and we say, yeah, 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 we know. let's come in let's edit the rail line and we'll say when you're at the milk company don't leave until there's eight wagons of milk that will only ever bring eight wagons of milk. Let's just check what we've done here. So we've got a warehouse with milk. There's eight units coming in. So then that's going to take some of that milk and bring it to New York City, who in turn are going to put some of it in their warehouse and send it up to Boston and so on and so forth. Now, what's the demand for milk? Let's have a look in New York. 0.4 so not too bad not too bad at all and what are they producing they're producing 1.6 so 0.4 and 0.2 we've probably got enough milk and stuff to satisfy most people for a while Albany is suddenly taken off um, probably partly because of the um, the extra grain that's coming in now you can see we're still low but we're not run out so it, it's better, but not quite there yet. But Albany's going to be up to 40,000 very soon, which means we've got to upgrade this again sooner rather than later. Boston is growing nearly at 30,000. Portland, the furthest one out there, is growing at 26,000. And if we look, you know, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. They're not getting any beer. It's quite interesting. Uh, I do wonder why they're not getting any beer. Let's just check the Boston warehouse. Yep, they're holding beer. Is New York holding beer for us? They are, but they're not getting enough beer. Beer is a problem then. There's three units of beer coming in as we speak. So we've got train utilization on, so it's scroll out you can see we've still got red yellow red down here so we need more trains fundamentally we've got so much stock to shift we need more trains than we're currently using let's come in edit the rail line we've got another two trains on there i think we've got just enough cash to do the same thing here for this edit this rail line two more trains on there 
That's four trains running on this line, four trains running on this line. That's going to be moving an awful lot of stock. And hopefully ensuring that Boston and Portland get some beer, because at the moment they don't have any beer, and that's not acceptable. Right, New York City, tell me, how are you doing? 46,000, 67.7%. Fulfillment, still no corn because we have no corn. And there are awaiting some milk to come in. Vegetables and fruits, right? Fruits, this is my next venture. So let's buy the fruit company for 105. 102, rather. We pay 71 because of our character. Got men on the inside, as they say. We're going to put a train station in. <clears throat> At this point, it really doesn't matter because this is a single route train. Just, to, just like the grain and everything else, we have a single route. We've obviously got something planned to be built. Oh, it's the second leg of that. Okay, so we'll, we'll go to planning number two. Pick up track one. Uh, see, now what I've done here is I've closed myself off, blocked myself in. That's not good. But fortunately, I built, i pause it a second, I built the water thing. So we can delete all of that, safe in the knowledge. Come in and just bomb. Bomb. We cross over in. And that's that done. So that keeps all the existing lines still running at a very, very small amount of expense there on our part. Right, so we're now going to go planning number two. And this time we should be able to do it. It doesn't really need two tracks, but I'm going to keep two tracks as an option open. Uh, 51,000, no real issues across there, so we just build that. And put in the water. Throw at the station. And there, in front of the station, just in case we ever want to delete anything. And put a new line in from Kelly to Boston. Right. Special Let's fruits to Boston. Just the one train, Mrs. Wembley. We'll put it on freight today because we're we're hardcore now and we want to do everything properly. Right, so we can pause it. Here comes our train. One thing I forgot to do is we want to tell him to only leave the station with eight units of apple. That's it. He's off and running. Away he goes. So Boston warehouse must now hold apples, otherwise this won't work. That will allow us to send apples to Portland if they want them and to New York, if they want them. So if we put apples on here, then we'll also be able to send fruit down to Albany. That does mean that uh, New York is pretty much flat out. So New York really doesn't have any more base for stuff. It can't hold any more in the warehouse. So if we want to put anything else, in New York, we're going to have to build a second station and um, put stuff in there. I mean, you can build a station anywhere you like, so it's not, not the biggest problem in the world. Uh, but it's just something to think about, that's all. Right, let's zoom out and see how happy the trains are. So they're much happier. We've got some green ones, we've got a couple of red ones, but mostly they're green. We've got some greens here, a yellow one, green. We have one red train, I think. Albany is now growing at twice the speed, so they're going to hit 40,000 very soon. 
at which point we would really like to put something in there. Perhaps a cheese making factory since we've got the milk nearby. Uh, when do they need cheese? Not until they've got 65,000, so that's a long way off. But better to speculate and accumulate. How are we doing over here? 15 units. Okay, so we've got enough uh, produce now. The new question is are we getting it to Albany quick enough? And are we getting it shifted up the up to Boston quick enough? As soon as the train pulls in, it's picking up eight loads. Oh no, he's not. It's picking up less than eight loads. And he's off. Okay, we don't want that. We want him to only leave with eight units. We'll just change that. We'll take a look. There's 14 there. So why is demand low? Have you got all the grain you need? Yes, you do. Do you have all the grain you need? Yes, you do. Right, so demand has dropped. So at the moment, we've got a, just about got a perfect balance between what is needed between all the cities and what we're producing. But we're not very far off having to increase it again. What was that for? There's all these auctions going off. I have no idea what they're for. Clearly not paying attention. Vegetables. I'd love to put some money on this. 90,000. I'm going to buy that right now. Even though I haven't got much cash. But, I mean, you don't even actually technically have to connect this to anything to make a profit. And see, at the moment we're making a profit of minus 5,700 a week. But we've only owned it for 10 seconds. So if you give it a little bit of time, I'm pretty sure that Syracuse, among others, is going to uh, come up with the goods on this one. Right, so we've got the option to I'm going to need to build this further back. Adjust how and where the corn, the grain, goes into Albany. I'm going to do that now whilst I've got the opportunity to do it. I'm going to bring it on this line, which is disused. But that is going to cost me 215,000, so that's really quite annoying. All right, <coughs> temporary change of plan. We're going to put it on an existing line for 15,000. Okay, so that keeps that open. So no harm, no foul. I'm thinking we can probably get a line into Syracuse here, which will actually increase the amount of grain we're going to have to produce, because Syracuse also makes beer. So maybe I'll w refrain from doing that just for now. Uh, I actually think it will cost me to get over the river. There's no good spot, is there? like that. 319,000 to that. Hardly surprising, honestly. I mean, look at the uh, extensive bridge work we're going to have to build there in order to make that work. But yeah, 319,000 is a little bit rich for my blood at this moment in time. Especially when we can uh, just take a route this way for... A lot less. It's just plugging one in. Okay. 
try and get off that contour. That's causing me a lot of grief. I felt that coming for ages, sorry, couldn't speak. I was trying to trying to hold it in. Right, so we got that down to 127,000. We could put a um, station in there and then run straight up and um, get our vegetables that we own, which would be fantastic. It's got a lot cheaper than that short route, but very expensive route that we were thinking about doing over there. So should we do it? We've got a train station. in this way, so let's sort of build out like that. So that would have to come in on the cheap line because we can't afford to do anything else. But 126,000. We now have a connection between Syracuse and Albany, so we could get a little little rail line going from Syracuse to Albany. Go that way around. Syracuse to Albany. So we'll call this mixed Syracuse to Albany. Click on that. Pick our best train, we'll just have one, we'll leave it on automatic. Boom, boom, boom. That's ticking over. Right, we are getting closer to the Vegema tables. Mm. Vegema tables, gotta, gotta love them. So we're still growing, we're at 52,000, we're not quite at 90,000 yet. Um, I realise this video is coming up to two hours now, and this is the fourth one I've done, and they've all been about this length. I apologise, this is how long this game takes. If you're not into this kind of thing, you probably shouldn't try playing the game. I mean, you can, I suppose, play 20 minutes, 30 minutes here and there. But ultimately, if you want to get anything done, it's going to take a bit of time. Um, but yes. That's four weeks without being loaded. Do we need more trains still? Got 90% of the apples that we need. How many apples do you have? Oh, they don't need apples yet, that's why. They haven't quite hit 45,000. That's fine. That's fine. So that's actually working quite well. How are we doing here? How much grain do we have now? We've got 15 and 38. That's good. Demand is still staying quite stable. Keith, thank you very much for the sub. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, Albany is now growing at a ridiculous rate of knots. Here comes our train with a couple of passengers and a bit of mail. Let's zoom out. He's already got the express line reward. What's he taking back the other way? What's he taking to Syracuse? Because Syracuse is very small, so they're going to need all the basics. All right, so he's going to take some wheat. There you go, see? The beer making company, they, they just want wheat, 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 wheat. Syracuse has grown already. The Syracuse is now, yeah, it's now expanding at a, a stupid rate of knots. They also need some wood, which is interesting. 
because we have wood. Do we have any space in there? We do have space in there, so we could just add wood to this list. And then Syracuse can start getting some wood. And as soon as that's our wood company, making a loss of 1,500 a day, we need the business. Another task checked off. Yeah, I'm doing these accidentally, by the way. <laughs> I don't even know what they are. I'm not even looking for them at this moment in time. Right, so. There's vegetables on the list over here. It is wicked good. So if I can just pop a little train station up here. Now I think I'm probably going to be going this way towards Ottawa. So let's put the train station in this way. Taking care to ensure that the free track is facing the inside like it is. So that I can connect it up to the free track that's down here at Syracuse. 327,000. Alright, let's just work that through. What are we what are we going through here? Okay, so there's a fucking great big mountain. Let's bring this all the way down here like this. Straighten that. Bring that any lower. Okay, that works quite nicely. So one percent uh, it's got a bit of a slow corner there, but you know what, I'm going to take it. 90,000, that connects us up to the uh, vegetables. The veg in my tables, and we can just do a quick line. It just as vegetables to there. So, we're going to call this special veg the Syracuse. And that's it guys, uh, one train, confirm, it's on automatic settings, because we may progress up to Ottawa, and it makes sense to keep it on that setting. So we are going to start getting vegetables at Albany, Albany is going to grow so fast, it's going to be ridiculous, Albany could easily take over New York at this rate, we also need vegetables, do Albany. New York geared up to hold on to vegetables, I've forgotten already. No. But they're holding on to sugar. The thing is, there's hardly any sugar coming down this way. Don't want to cut off the sugar. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh, Albany has grown. They're ready for a production. Now, what did I say? I said we're going to do something with the milk, didn't I? Um, yeah. So, cheese. No one's going to want cheese until they hit 65,000. That's the only problem. But people will still buy cheese, you know, even though nobody actually wants it. So let's do it. Let's put a cheese company in there. 580. I need 80,000. I need 20,000 more. That's very expensive. The thing is, if I don't put a company in here, somebody else will, and they'll get all the profits. And we don't want that. Just enough. Bomb. In goes the cheese factory. Cheese factory is good. Let's have a look at our profits. 15,000, 16,000. So they're almost all running a profit. Except for the vegetable and the fruit. It's always the fruit and vegetables that get left out, isn't it? Always. But that will change over time because as people need it more, more people will move around and so on and so forth. Right, so Albany now needs, let's have a look, so they've just grown. 
We now need 2.4 units. Ah, oh, okay, 2.4 units a week. And 1.2 units of milk. Because we're producing cheese. And how much does my cheese factory make? 4,800 a week. That's not bad. That is not bad. Good business training. Syracuse has grown again. Now 20,000 people in Syracuse. Syracuse is growing very fast. How are we doing over here with the old wheat situation? We're, we're still holding strong. We're not getting swamped yet. Right, New York is at 60,000. Hey! You have completed this task. How much are we earning? Let's have a look. How much are we earning a, a week? Only 53,459. That is really small potatoes. That is not a lot of money. Boston is growing, but what have we not got 100% of? We haven't got 100% milk. We haven't got 100% vegetables. I think maybe I need to put a couple of extra trains on here. Look. They're all fully loaded again. Let's go into the rail line. We're running for... We go up to eight, absolutely double it. That's got to be enough, right? And we've got too many trains down here as well. So let's click on that. They're on four. I don't want to go to eight with them. Let's go to six. Hopefully that'll just boost our income. Just that little bit more. Are we making a profit here yet? No, we're still making a loss. Are Syracuse getting any wood though? That's the question. They are, they've got 100% wood. They're not getting any meat. They're not getting any meat. Can Albany hold on to meat? Do they have space in the warehouse? They don't have space in the warehouse. I don't need to hold cheese because we're making cheese, so I can change that to meat. And that's that problem solved, perfect. The Syracuse are going to start growing uh, pretty quickly, I think, as well. Two hundred sixty-four thousand. How much is it going to cost me to put a second line into Syracuse? Quite a lot, I imagine. What was this for? Ah, oh, this was a second line down there, wasn't it? I need to worry about that for a while. Right. Oh, something I forgot. That's 66,000 right there. I forgot to put water supplies in. Put one there. We'll put one there. We'll put one there. all of that. So we are going to have to destroy a bit of the track in order to build a bit of the track. So, get rid of that. Bring this one in onto the existing line so nothing's broken, everything still works. And then we upgrade to a double line. 68,000, that's quite reasonable. I can cope with that cost. Let's put our crossover in. We've already got the, wa the water tower there. We'll put a crossover this side. Uh, that's pretty good. And quite a long route, so I might just put a water thing in the middle somewhere. And uh, so this train. It's not overly loaded, is it, really, particularly? Not that much going on on it, truth be told. Put some direction on these tracks. Lovely stuff. Again, I think you should be able to choose whether you're left or right-handed. 
so that it doesn't always default to uh, the American style. It also defaults to the American style in Britain, I noticed, which is uh, not very impressive either. Anyway, uh, right, so this is mixed. Let's just have it up there, right? Okay, so we'll just leave him on his own. That's probably a wasted bit of cash I just spent down there. Do him out a smidge. Small breakdown. Still got trains waiting to deploy, that's fine. Maybe eight trains is too many for that route, I don't know. Not sure. How much are we making now a week? 53,000, that's really quite poor. In the last two videos I did this, it didn't go as well as this, but we were making 117,000. So, um, although I've expanded better and everything seems to be running smoother, we're actually making a lot less money. So that's a little uh, annoying, but that again is part and parcel of the game. It does kind of have swings and roundabouts. You never really play the game exactly the same way. Even when you've already played it before, everything just changes a little bit and it all just, it always feels like a new game, no matter how many times you play it, which is kind of cool. That's, a, that's definitely a selling point for the game. Right now, why is there so much here? Like none is being taken, that's incredibly odd. Does Albany have any vegetables? It does, but it doesn't have any excess vegetables. Now that's because Syracuse doesn't have a warehouse. So let's build a maintenance depot so that our trains don't break down. And a warehouse. Perfect. Right, so the warehouse has to corn. I don't need to do beer. I do need to do vegetables. Let's do some clay. As soon as we're, you know, we're collecting clay, we might as well store it rather than do nothing with it. Right, so vegetables will start coming in. Albany, New York and everything will start growing really fast again. New York is at 67,000. Distant but wealthy aunt has just given me some cash via bonds. Thank you, auntie. Love you lots. So we're getting to the point where we may, may need to put more tracks in. May have to double it up to four. Uh, obviously, that's going to be costly. So kind of want to hold on as long as I can with what we've got. But worth a lot more than she is. Uh, we've got 45 weeks, we've got to pay back 746,000. Making 64,000 a week, we're not doing terrible. Crane has a negative balance, well, it would do, but not for long. Watch this. It's got a negative balance of 4,000, it's going to drop off all these vegetables and make 10 grand for me. Oh. <laughs> uh, did I miss that? I didn't seem to make any money. Syracuse now has vegetables, which it's sending to Albany, which will then send them on to New York. And so it evolves. Now what will happen is when we get to 90,000, we'll be able to put another building in here. But also, in addition to that, um, we will have the opportunity to build a university. Now, cities can't expand beyond 90,000 people unless they have a university. So that will be the last thing we do today. 
and I think that encompasses everything in this game. That's, I've tried to make this the ultimate tutorial. Maybe there's some things I need to talk about a bit more. Research obviously uh, evolves over time. You get 60 units per month. And I think there are things you can do that increase this. Maybe there are things you can unlock that increase this. So innovation points, things like this. So um, a train whistle, a safety train whistle, increases ticket prices by 5%. I haven't done any of this. That's going to increase our profits, right? Um, including the John Ball, increases the maximum speed by 5%. What's this? Increases well-being, that's matter. After an auction, reduces your costs by 5%. This is all money saving. Um, reduces the cost of railway buildings, 5%. Increases reliability of your locomotives, 5 by 5%. Um, if I run out, yes, I spent them all. Right, so there's loads of good upgrades there. We're actually going to make more money off the back of that just by doing that so we're up to 86,000 now just with those interests 5% interests on, um, on, on our existing customers which is pretty damn good pretty damn good right do you have apples do why only don't you have any in store do you need apples no you've got 100% of apples do you need any apples Nope, you got 100% of apples. So there's not a lot of money in apples, turns out. When Boston grows... Oh, someone's got in there, look. I missed one. Boston grew, and there was a gap, and I could have started making uh, naps. Oh, Portland's got a gap. Let's... think about how I'm going to get it out of Portland. Space in the warehouse, okay. Thing is, I want to build what he's building there. Most infuriating. Has anyone else grown? Albany's about to, surely. 53,000. 73,000. Syracuse is growing at double rate. They're up to 26,000. They're going to be there pretty quick. Oh, slow due to missing supplies. Did I forget to put water on your track? I am so sorry. Here. And here. There we go. How's our milk company doing? Making 3,800 a week. But zero milkage. So we need to expand this company. They don't, they aren't producing enough. They're not producing enough to uh, accommodate the needs of everyone around them. And on the flip side, the grain, we've got exactly the right amount. Perhaps too much for the first time ever. It's kind of cool. I do like how that's evolved. Now, is this making any money now? It's making 2,000 a week now. It's hitting enough people to actually be a profitable company at last. Which is great. What about our vegetable company? What's that making? 3,800 a week. Wonderful. So in uh, 10 years, that'll be uh, that'll be a good profitable business, that one. Speculate to accumulate. How much we bring in a, in a week? 87,000. I've got to get 116,000 before we reach the end. 76,000. New York is so close now to hitting the 90,000 mark. I'm very nervous. About these bonds, how long have I got? 36.5 weeks. So if I just sit back and be patient, I don't really need to do anything. I can still see that there are lots of trains with too much stuff. There's more goods than there are trains to carry it. You can see that from uh, the train utilization menu. We seem to have got this one under control. Maybe I, maybe I should just bite the bullet and add another couple 
people on there, but I'm concerned that they're going to start choking, getting stuck. We definitely don't want that to happen. Fingers crossed it won't. We could always take two trains back off. It's not a big deal, I suppose. Right. New York City, 77,000. When that hits 90,000, we'll put the final um, business in there, which will be a wood production business. Um, and then I will upgrade uh, New York City to have a university. And when we hit 100,000, this tutorial will be over, guys. So I guess, you know, whilst we're sat here, chillaxing a bit um, if you do have any questions please go right ahead leave questions in the comments section um, if you have any advice you know I'm not pertaining to know everything about this game I just know what I know and uh, I try and know as much as I can yeah, well, the meat utilization is very good Corn. This is this is the thing that nobody has any corn. Well, they've got corn. They're getting corn from over here. Look, the Syracuse are the only people who have corn. That is interesting. I wonder if I can tap into that somehow. I mean, obviously I could tap into that. Not a problem. All right, we've got all these trains to yellow, so they're not red anymore. That's pretty good. This train is now red. Because it's probably loading yeah, vegetable after vegetable after vegetable. So let's put four trains on there. We'll leave it on uh, automated so that we can transport everything and anything that we want. Oh, these guys got back to red again. I thought I had I thought I had everything under control. It's just this never-ending increase in goods. There's always more goods to transport to more people who want more stuff, and then they want new stuff. So then we got to start bringing that stuff in, and then we got to transport that stuff. It's just never-ending. I think we're getting to the very close to the point where we would need to put just a couple of lines in here. We're not focusing on that right now. We're focusing on New York City, at 81,000. Growing super, super duper quickly, weekly. Uh, Boston's hit 52. Did somebody put a business in there yet? They haven't, have they? I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't know what business to put in there. I suppose I could put... I could put... Actually, that's not a terrible idea. Let's go to Portland. And let's add a new production business. Let's start making distilled whatever it is. Liquor. Because we've already got apples at Boston. Apples are coming in. You'll see that this train has just woken up. He's like, whoa, somebody wants some apples. Well, he's going to start producing apples again. How many apples we got? We haven't got any apples. We haven't got enough apples. There's me thinking nobody wants apples, and the reality is we haven't got enough. Right, so we've just expanded that business. And all that money we had, nearly a million, gone. Churching. But it won't take long to get it back. How much are we owning now? 94,000. I've got to beat 117,000. I've got to do it. We're nearly at 90,000 in New York City. Come on, me. I've been trying to do this all day. This is my fourth attempt at this, guys. Started at five in the well, six in the morning technically. I got up at five in the morning. By six, I was trying to make this video and I couldn't do it. I went to bed. About half past nine, ten o'clock, I went to bed. I was like, I can't do it. I've had enough. But I know I can't do anything tomorrow. And I'm like, right. It's all in my head. I know what I want to say. I know what I want to do. I know what I want to show you. We're gonna have one more go at it, and this is it. Let's hope about it. Battery power, hard drive space. You can tell it's getting late. My brain is starting to, to waver all over the place. And I'm starting to talk a lot of rubbish. 84,000. Uh, Albany has just up expanded. It just hit 64,000. It's 
It's pretty good. With the exception of corn, we really have got absolutely everything flowing in beautifully. Let's have a look over here. How are we doing? Yep. Absolutely fine on that front. Uh, okay. So, I mean, they're making 8,000 a week. So, there's some good news to it. These guys over in Portland, they now... Whoa! They need apples. They're not getting them, though. They are not getting them. That is interesting. Right, there's three units of apples going over to Portland. But... God damn it. Click on the train, god damn it. What's he going to do when he gets there? Is he going to pick up apples? One, two, three, four, five, five. Waiting for goods. Six, waiting for goods. Okay, so we're not actually producing enough. It's quite frustrating. That's very expensive. I can't upgrade anymore, but we need to. We're not producing enough fruit for everyone. But I've got to hold on to my money for this, for the New York thing. 90,000. We need 190,000 for the university, and we need probably about half a million for the wood production company. We're just going to make our uh, lumber production company more profit, because they're only making 1,285 a week, which is pretty cack, really. Incidentally, guys, if you come in here and you click on Return Hill Logging, it doesn't get rid of it. It just returns it to the original owner, I think, is what, what happens. Now, I'm not sure if you get paid for that or whether they just take it off your hands. Um, but any which way, uh, it's no longer yours and you don't earn any profit from it anymore. 88,000. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Eighty-nine thousand one hundred, eighty-nine thousand two hundred, eighty-nine thousand four hundred. Eighty-nine thousand five hundred. Here we go, boys and girls. We're gonna hit ninety thousand any second now. Opens up the third company that you could build in here. Ninety thousand. There you go. It has expanded. It's opened up. New production. We're going to do sawmills. We're going to pop it there. Job done. <coughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Right. So, how much is our cloth cloth making, clothes making, factory making us? Four thousand eight hundred a week. Not bad. And this is making a loss of one thousand seven hundred at the moment. But. We've only just opened it, so that's fine. Right, so there's one last thing I need to do. Uh, New York City, we need to build a city building. Click the university, plump that in there. Now you can see that the fulfillment is it's still growing, and it will just keep growing now. 91,000. When that gets to 100,000, this tutorial will be over. I want to say thank you so much for watching, especially if you got through this far. Please do share this video with other people. There are people out there uh, and I'm not I'm not trying to be a dick and if I sound like one I do apologize but um, you know they're getting hundreds of thousands of views on this game and honestly I don't think they had half as much content in their tutorial as I have put into this one I watched their tutorial and I didn't learn anything but I was really struggling with the ability to convey what I wanted to teach you in a tutorial in a convincing way and, you know, I've had four cracks at this, and this is the first one that's turned out okay. Fingers crossed, everything is alright, the audio is good, and so on and so forth. And it's, you know, I want, I want really desperately want it to be useful. Um, so please do let me know in the comment section if I've taught you anything. If you have any recommendations, any advice, any guidance, any corrections on anything I've said that I'm wrong about. All this stuff is very, very useful. What can we talk about? Personnel. You can come in here and get cash bonuses once every week, uh, once every 100 days or something. 
I never do anything in here. The saboteur, that's if you want to go and ruin your um, uh, your other company's uh, stuff. Basically, I just don't touch any of this at all. There's no need to. It just sort of deals with itself. You can come in here and you can do some paint jobs on, uh, on your trains, whatever. <coughs> I don't think it's all that exciting, really. Some of you might. Um, it's not really my sort of cup of tea. Company, what are we earning? 107? No, we're not going to do 117. We're going to fall short. How long we got? We've got 8,000 people to try and make it more profit. How are we doing with the wood? We've got loads of it. How are we doing with this? We've got loads of it. How are we doing with the apples? We've got none. Let's upgrade. Boom. That cost me a lot of cash. How long have I got to pay back that loan, by the way? 17.8 weeks, so I better stop spending my money so that I can pay off that debt. So the train station, uh, I've just expanded it. Hopefully that's um, producing enough apples now. And Portland Liquor Company, making 5,200 a week. What? And that's at level one. I'm not even producing a lot of stuff there. That's really good. Right, we've actually got some apples now. Maybe, just maybe, 103,000. 117 was my record uh, today, so I desperately want to get 118. Like, so much you don't even know. So it looks like New York has stopped growing, which is going to give us a little bit longer to earn this extra cash, but I want to know why. What are they suddenly not getting? They're not getting grain. Why on earth are they not getting green? Let's put a second train on this line. Let's put a second line on this train. If that makes sense. Oh, nuggets. Look at this. It won't do it. There's a bit of a discrepancy between some bits of track there. That's so infuriating. Right. We shall build that there. Temporarily delete all of this. Which will then allow us to build that bit of track. Then we will build. Alright, oh, won't let me do it, stupid game. Okay, let me do it that way. Right, so that's having a right Barney. Why are you doing that? What's wrong with you? Stop being an idiot. Just make a straight bit of track. Right, crossover point. Crossover point. Make sure they've both got water. Get one there. One there. And get rid of these two because we don't need them. Okay, how much are we making? Oh no, we've gone down. We've got 97,000 instead of gone up. That's not what we wanted. Right, let's put another train on here. Let's put another train on there. Let's stick it to freight. Maybe that'll just help us load up quicker. Uh, let's come in here and let's put the dispatch hall on. Start sending this stuff out quicker as well. How are we doing with the apples? So I think we're just about on top of the apples now. How have we made less money? 99,000. Come on, baby. New York City, what's going on? We're not getting the grain. I don't understand why. Where is the grain going? I'm guessing the grain is going to flip in Syracuse, which has just expanded, look. They're ready for a company to go in there. 
Dairy farm near Indianapolis. No, that's nowhere near us. Look how quickly Syracuse is growing. It's 42,000 already. Uh, what could we build? Oh, I know what we could build. New production. Ceramic factory. 646,000 there. I haven't got that sort of cash. And I've got to pay off a debt in a minute, so... Perhaps we don't want to. Right, what the hell is going on with the grain situation? How much grain is in here? There's three units of grain coming. How much? How many units of grain are they asking for? 4.7, that's a lot of grain. 4.7 units of grain. And how much are we producing? 5.6. I think that's the problem. I did say this was going to happen. So we're going to have to upgrade the amount of uh, grain that we're making to accommodate everybody. That's why New, New York has stopped growing. Because they're not getting enough grain in. Uh, the fact that we've got two trains running this route now is also pretty good. But I think to get to put directions on these things... fix that. Problem with the route. I've forgotten to put the crossover somewhere. Okay, good. I fixed it. I fixed or it. We're good. We're up and running. 130,000 a week! I absolutely smashed it. 117. That's for losers. Right, okay, good news. Uh, we are absolutely smashing it out of the park again. We are not getting enough wood. Which probably means we don't have enough wood. No, we have plenty of wood. You've got space. Pick up some wood. Why do you keep picking up wool? Oh, you got three spaces. What are you going to pick up? You're going to pick up wood, right? No, wool, wool, wool. It's all about wool with these guys. Wool is not essential. Lumber is. Sugar? We're not getting sugar anymore. What's going on with the sugar production? We're not getting any sugar. Another task checked off. Doing pretty well. Yeah, they're still doing the sugar run thing. Why are we not getting any sugar, guys? What's going on? Five units of sugar coming in. Is there just not enough sugar? <laughs> so we need to expand this. See how everything grows? You've got to go around and keep expanding all your little companies because, you know, there's not enough of anything to go around for everybody. How are we doing? 92,000. So we've kind of stagnated there a little bit. Albany is the next one to hit 90,000. I've got to pay off a bill, so I've really got to focus on paying that next. Nine weeks, 746,000 we've got to pay. If you haven't got it when they want it, big trouble. Big trouble. I've never done that, by the way. It's just that's what they tell you. It's going to be big trouble if you don't have the money when they want it. Anyway, uh, we're so close. Come on, New York, stop growing. 100,000, I said, we would finish. I made the money. We're doing 117,000. Oh my god, we dropped back down to 117,000.
Now I could prioritize wood. The thing is they're bringing so much stuff in, I'm just going to need more trains. This is mental. Okay, they need more trains. Interesting. Okay. Right, so I've got enough to pay my debt off. I'm kind of tempted to pay it off early, but I do get penalty. Oh, I can't afford it though. 826,000. Oh my god. We actually can't afford to pay it off. That's quite scary. Alright, don't buy anything, Mike. Keep your cash in your pants, Sim. Don't spend no money. Right, 90% of that. Not getting enough lumber. Not getting enough sugar, baby. There's plenty of lumber, it's just nobody's picking the bloody lumber up. Get them on my knickers, this is. Get them right on my knickers. What we're going to do is we're going to edit this rail line, and when they come in to a Anderson after going to the train station, we're going to say, just prioritise the wood, yeah? And say, so if you've got any space, put some wood on your train. Nobody's got any space, though, that's the problem. Nobody has got any space. got to be making more money now. 100... Oh, no, that's less. Oh dear, don't look at that. Close your eyes, that never happened. Really bananas. Right. Uh, are you growing yet, New York? You're being most awkward game. What's the sugar situation? Talk to me. Not enough sugar. Oh crap! Oh crap! I must stop spending money because I've got to pay this bill of oh, three and a half weeks. Oh crap! I could borrow another one point whatever million to pay it off, but that just seems like a silly game to play. How much are we make it? Come on! Come on! One hundred twenty-four thousand. That's more like it. It's not as good as one hundred thirty-one, but it should be enough. One thinks. To be able to uh, pay off my bill in time without defaulting. Oh god, two weeks. That's going to be really tight, guys. Really, really tight. Make 120,000 a week and we need 250,000. I've never let a debt in this game actually fully materialise, so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. I imagine it's going to say something and then take all our money away. So uh, let's watch it together. Let's learn together. 1.6 weeks. Oh gosh. And it's like 860 something, isn't it? Need, basically we need a hundred thousand more in a week and a half and we make just over a hundred thousand a week so we should be fine unless something bad happens or I accidentally spend some money like I did just now we should be fine that's nine hundred thousand it's horrible you get to a million you blink and the bank takes it all <laughs> like real life it's just like real life Why does that still say 1.6? There you go. It just ended. Took all our cash. That's weird how it doesn't update real time. I just noticed that doesn't work. That's another bug. Right, so we have no debts. We've got 282,000 and we are making 123,000 a week. 
New York is growing. We're 7,000 away from getting 100,000, which is where I said this video would end. Right, we're getting trains stuck now. It's getting silly now. It's getting out of control now. Where is that line? Just, just forget that line, buddy. More important things to do. Oh, look at this. It's all the wrong way round. Right, let's build a water tower there, I think. Get rid of that one. And we're going to get rid of the tracks. Nearly got rid of the flipping uh, railway station then. That was not intended. I'm going to take it back further. Because we've got quite a lot of work to do here. How many tracks have we got available to me there? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many is that? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is now track six. Track five. And I've got to do the same thing here. Have I? Okay. I've just got to build this one up. Damn it, we haven't got the cash. That's going to cost us a lot of money because that's going to break all these trains. I have to take a loan out. <laughs> it's going to stop New York from growing. Come on, more money, more money. I need 127,000, please. broken everything. New York's not growing anymore. Albany's stopped growing. The money's not coming in. Oh, it went down. That's the first time I've seen it go down for like forever. That now fixed it. Is it now connected? It's connected on one side. Silly. Very silly. Alright, we are going to come in here. Oh, this is another thing we could do. This is the money our auntie sent us. This happens to be just enough cash to build what we need. Right. Three in, three out, I guess. Oh, that's not going to work because I've only got two there. Temporarily, we're going to run it like that. Does that fix it? And I'll put a crossover in. I'm going to have to remove that. Gridiron in there and a gridiron in there. Right, does that fix it? Oh, how does that not fix it? Come on. Ah, because I haven't got a gridiron this end. Of course. Just have to get rid of the water. And 
the gridiron, the ridiculously big gridiron. Now we can put some water back in. Looks good. Still not good. Is it running? Yes, it's running. Up and running again, okay, that should bring some more cash in. Right, wonderful. How much is it gonna cost me to fully utilize this then? Oh god, look, look, what is going on there? They've built a bridge under the under the train station. It's so cool. Right, it's a hundred thousand. Give me some command give them yes, sure, blah blah blah. Give me some cash and I'll build it. Oh I can't build it whilst that's there. Part of the beginner mode thing. What? Where did the money go? I've got myself all kinds of confused. Where am I looking? Oh, there we go. Over here somewhere. So how much are we earning now? 115,000, damn it. How big is New York? 94,000, right, let's get this, come on, let's get this done. This was always my goal, was to just upgrade. It doesn't have to be New York, it could be Albany. They're at 90,000, the race, it's a race, the race is on. Syracuse is still growing really fast. Boston is slowed down a bit, I don't really care. Just want New York to get a hundred thousand, and then we can call this tutorial complete. I've shown you everything in the game, and I can uh, stop playing, content in the knowledge that I've done something hopefully helpful. All right, final track. Was that the final track? That's the final track. Need a hundred thousand. I think six tracks maybe were a bit too much. I think I, I maybe went over the top a little bit there. Four would have been perfectly. <laughs> Perfectly adequate. Oh. Look at that, we've got three grand left. That's all we've got. It's broke. Right, I could come in here now. I could put the gridiron in. It's absolutely huge. I must remember to put the, uh, the water tanks back in. Lovely, that's fully up and running now. Uh, well, I say fully, what I mean is almost. So it's three up, three down. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Three up, three down with a six channel crossover. I mean, you could run a hundred trains on there, I think. And it would Probably not choke. I do need to put the walls back in there. That one's in, that one's in, that one's in, that one's in. We're good. We're golden. We are golden, right. That should now theoretically get everything back where it should be. Yeah, it's 100%, fully 100%. It's got milk. It's got no vegetables, though. Let's have a look at the vegetable situation. So why is Albany not getting vegetables from Syracuse anymore? 
What's happened there? A bonus for new industry, 265,000. Alright, well let's pause that a second. I wasn't going to put one in here, but now you're saying you're going to... You're going to give me 265,000 back. Oh, God, I haven't got any money. Um, I'd, I've never seen that before. That's really exciting. Um, what could I put in there? What can I produce that they need? What do they need that they haven't got? Can I make corn? There's meat. There's not enough meat coming down. Still not enough sugar. I could do the ceramics factory. Or I could do the furniture industry because we've got the wood. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right, we'll go furniture industry if you just give me a couple of minutes to uh, accumulate another hundred thousand. And then it'll give me two hundred thousand back. That's really awesome. It's a terrible graphic, isn't it? That dollar sign. That, the, the mouse icon is pretty awful. That should be 4K, guys. Minimum. New York City's growing! probably the last thing I'll be able to do. Come on! Don't let anyone get there before me. How much do I need? How much do I need? 551. That's gone up. It wasn't 551 a minute ago. I'm sure it wasn't. Right, well it is now. Come on, before the AI steal it. I hate it when the AI gets there before me. So close, 520, 524, 530, almost. The right bit of music for this moment, I tell you. 551, come on, before before New York gets 100,000. Before the AI get in and steal this little plot. 551, come on. Yes, we got it. Wonderful. Wonderful. That all ties up so nicely. But I do think we need to put more more trains on. Look, look at that. It's just chocker. It's just never ending. New York City is about to hit 100,000. Guys, you've been awesome. Thank you so much. For joining me today thank you so much for watching thank you so much for just being awesome i hope i've helped you that was the whole point of this tutorial um, and i hope i've entertained you a little bit as well uh, i really like this game but it does suck hours of your life away without you even noticing it it's crazy that's a hundred thousand i'm sim uk please like share subscribe comment and i'll see you in the next one until then take care goodbye for now